Hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm Andrew, the CEO of Quantata. In today's video, I'll be giving an introduction to filter groups. Thank you for joining us, and let's get right into it. In the video, we'll go over what quick filtering is, how to use quick filtering, what filter groups are, how to use filter groups, and I'll also suggest a couple filter groups that you can use. Don't forget to sign up to our free seven day trial at quantdata.us. Let's get right into the video. This is the dashboard of the Quantdata platform. On the dashboard, you'll see that we have the options order flow feed, the dark and lit pool print feed, as well as the live news and sentiment feed. On these three feeds, in the top left hand corner, you'll see a quick filtering button. By clicking this button, a quick filtering modal will pop up, and in this modal, you can adjust your quick filters for that feed. You can see that the same applies for the dark and lit pool prints, as well as the live news and sentiment. It is important to note that once you apply these quick filters, any new data that comes through the feeds will be filtered in real time. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can also use the quick filtering on the historical order flow, dark and lit pool prints, and news and sentiment. Before we go ahead and take a deeper dive into the quick filter and filter groups, I would like to mention that in the top right hand corner, we have something that we call the global ticker filter. What this does is it allows you to filter all three feeds by any ticker or list of tickers at once. And we'll go ahead and try this by filtering all of the feeds by Apple. So see, after we type in Apple and select it, you'll see that the order flow feed has all the Apple traits. The live news and sentiment has all the news related to Apple and the dark and lip pool prints has all of the Apple dark and lip pool prints. You can go ahead and clear this global ticker filter by clicking the X in the right hand corner. It is important to note that the global ticker filter overrides both the quick filtering and the filter groups so that you can quickly filter for any ticker on all three feeds. Once you do clear the global ticker filter, uh, your other filters do apply again. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use the quick filtering tool as well as the different filters that it provides. So once you click on the quick filtering button, you'll see the modal pop up. And in the modal, we have the different quick filters that we offer, as well as the different configurations for each one. So you'll see that each filter has an operator and a value that you select. The operators can differ depending on what the filter is. So for example, if I wanted to exclude SPY from the order flow, I would click the operator, I would click the ticker is not, and then I would type in SPY. And now when I apply the filters in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that SPY is no longer included in the order flow. Now you can put a whole list here, or you could just have one ticker. It really depends on what you're trying to do. Let's go ahead and clear this filter and I'll show you another example. To clear the filter, navigate to the bottom right hand corner and click reset filters. And you'll see that the filter has cleared. So let's say we wanted to include all trade sides on the order flow, because on our platform, the default order flow is anything that executes on the ask side or above. We would navigate to the quick filtering modal by clicking the button in the top left hand corner. We would go to the trade side filter. We would keep the operator as is, and then we would select all of the trade sides to include all of them. And then we would click the apply filters button in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see that now the order flow is showing bid side trades. So let's go ahead and look at all the other filters that the quick filtering offers. The filters included in the quick filtering modal include the ability to filter by ticker, consolidation type, money type, expiration date, trade side, contract type, trade type, and premium, as well as the three different properties, golden sweeps, opening positions, and unusual trades. 
For the properties, all you have to do is click one of them and then click apply filters and you'll see that it filters by that property. Let's go ahead and clear these filters and then we'll take a look at the live news and sentiment and dark and lit pool prints quick filtering. So to clear the filters, we just click reset filters and all the filters should be cleared. Once we navigate to the live news and sentiment feed, we can click quick filters and then we have the ability to filter by ticker, topic, and sentiment. Let's go ahead and filter by sentiment. So let's click is, extremely bullish, moderately bullish, and slightly bullish. And then let's click apply. And we'll see that all bullish news will be filtered. And then to clear those filters, we just click reset filters. It's the same thing for dark and lit bull prints. We just click this quick filtering button and then we have the ability to filter by ticker, size, price, and notional value. Let's say we want to have a size that is greater than or equal to 100,000. And then we go ahead and apply that filter. The size of all these trades will be filtered to 100,000. And you can include multiple filters and configure it however you'd like. And then to clear it, you just click reset filters. The quick filtering process is the same for historical order flow, historical news, and historical dark and lit pool prints. So with that in mind, we'll go ahead and begin talking about what filter groups are, as well as why you would use filter groups over quick filtering or the global ticker filter. So in addition to the quick filtering and the global ticker filter, we have what we call filter groups. Filter groups are a bit more advanced as they have more filters and more operators per filter. The filter groups are saved across tabs, they're saved across devices, so your filter groups will never disappear. In order to create a new filter group, you must navigate to the My Filter Groups button in the top right hand corner and click it. Once you click it, you see a modal will pop up for the filter groups. To create a new filter group, you click create new filter group. Once you click create a new filter group, you'll be able to write a name for the filter group, you'll be able to describe the filter group, and you'll also be able to select which feed you want the filter group to be created for. So let's go ahead and write quant data demo. Let's describe it as demo for filter groups and we will keep it selected as options order flow, but you'll see we can select the type for any of the different feeds that we allow filtering for. We'll go ahead and select options order flow, and then you'll see this check mark here that says apply on creation. If you keep this checked, it'll go ahead and apply the filter group once you click create filter group. So let's go ahead and create this filter group. So once the filter group has been created, you can click on it and then you'll see the different options that we have here. We have the deactivate filter group button, which will cause the filter group to no longer be active when clicked on. So you'll see the check mark disappears when I click on it. When I activate it, the check mark reappears. We have the add filter button, which we'll get back to in a second. We have the edit filter group button, which allows me to edit the name and description. And then we have the delete filter group button, which deletes the entire filter group and the save filters button for whenever we add a new filter. So let's go ahead and add a new filter. So to begin, let's click the add filter button and you'll see a new filter appears. To select the filter that you would like, you just click the filter drop down, and then you'll see a list of different filters populate. These are all the different filters that we allow you to filter by. So we'll go ahead and filter by size as an example. It's the same as the quick filtering where you select an operator. It's just that in the filter groups, you'll see more filters as well as more operators that you can filter by for each different filter. So we'll go ahead and do size is greater than 10,000. 
And then to apply it, we'll go ahead and click save. So now the filter group is saved and it is checked because we have it activated. So we can go ahead and X out and we will see that the size is going to be greater than 10,000 on all of the existing order flow, as well as any new order flow that comes in. Now let's go ahead and add all the trade sides to the order flow. So to do that, we would click my filter groups in the top right hand corner. We would click the respective filter group that we want to change. And then we would add a new filter. We would select the filter, which we can also search. So let's search for trade side. We click trade side and then let's say trade side is, and then we select all of them. Once we have all of them selected, we can go ahead and click save filter groups. The filter group is still applied. So now that we have it all saved, let's go ahead and X out. And you'll see that now the order flow includes the bid side trades as well as all the other trade sides. And you can add as many different filters as you'd like. And you can also create as many filter groups as you'd like. So now that we've gone over what filter groups are and how they work, let's go ahead and take a look at the different filters that we offer. So you can also access the filter groups in the quick filtering model by clicking my filter groups in the bottom left hand corner. So when we click on that, you'll see it takes us to our filter groups and we click our filter group and click add filter and you'll see once we click on the filter drop down, you'll see all the different filters that we offer. We have filters for contract details, such as the contract type, open interest, options price, premium, reference price, size, strike price, ticker, trade side, and volume. For the dates and times, we allow you to filter by expiration date or dates, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. We have for the different properties, the same as the quick filtering, golden sweeps, opening positions, and unusual trades. And then for the different types, we have the consolidation type, the money type, and the trade type. We have a full article on trade types, if you don't know what those are, uh, that I can have linked in the description as well. And then we also have filters for the different Greeks, including Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and of course, Implied Volatility. So those are all the different filters that we offer for the options order flow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the filter options for both the news and the dark and lit pool prints. So let's close out of the options order flow filter group. Let's create a new filter group. Once we have a new filter group created, Let's go ahead and name it quant data demo for news. Let's just call this news filters. And then it's very important that we select the news so that it actually filters for news. And then we click create filter group. We navigate to the filter group we just created. You'll see that it's activated because we clicked apply on creation. And then we click add filter and you'll see that we have the different filters that we offer for news. So let's say we wanted to filter all news for Tesla. We just type it in, we make sure this is is and then we click save. And you'll see that all news is filtered for Tesla. So let's go back to my filter groups. Let's go ahead and create a new filter group for the dark and lit bull prints so we can show you the filters that we offer for that feed. So we can create new filter group. We'll go ahead and name this filter group Quantata Demo for Dark Pool. And for the description, we will put dark pool filters. And then we must select the type as dark pool prints. And then we We'll create the filter group. Once the filter group has been created, we click on it and then we click add filter. 
and you'll see that all the filters that we have for dark pools are available here. We have filters for the size of the trade, the ticker, the notional value, and the price. So let's go ahead and use the size filter. We'll go ahead and select the is greater than or equal to operator. And then we'll go ahead and make the size greater than or equal to 200,000. We click save filters. We know that it's already applied because of the check. And we X out and we see that all dark pool prints in the feed are above 200,000 in size, as well as any new trades that come in. So with that in mind, the filter groups for the historical news and the historical dark pool and lit pool prints is all the same as what I just showed. So the only difference is that when you create a new filter group, you'll create it for the historical dark pools or the historical news or the historical order flow instead of just the news order flow or dark pool feeds. Another thing we can do is we can activate all of the different kinds of filters at once. So we have our order flow news and dark pool print filters and you'll see that all of the feeds are filtered according to the filters we set earlier in the video. So let's go ahead and create a commonly used filter group for unusual options activity. So let's navigate to my filter groups. Let's deactivate the three filter groups we created earlier. And let's go ahead and create a new filter group. We'll call this filter group unusual options activity and we'll do UOA plus trade side for the description and we want to make sure options order flow is selected and then we'll go ahead and have that created once that is created we'll go ahead and click on it and then we'll click add filter and we will look for the properties and we'll click unusual and then we want to make sure unusual is true. And then we want to add another filter. Want to get the trade side and select all of them so that we can see the buy and sell side unusual options trades. And then we'll go ahead and save this filter group and it'll automatically apply since it's already activated. So we'll X out of it and all of this order flow is unusual options activity that is both on the buy side and the sell side. That is one simple filter group that we can use to identify both buy side and sell side unusual options activity. There is an array of different combinations and different filters you can set for different strategies, whether it's day trading, swing trading, long-term trading. If you join our free community that's linked in the description, we have a section on filter groups where you can see some of our own personal filter groups as well as our members' filter groups. In the future, we do plan on making more videos about filter groups as well as the different complex strategies that we can use, including ISOs, excluding spreads, whatever it is. Um, so make sure you're subscribed so you can get those videos right when they come out. And don't forget to sign up to our free seven day trial where you can go through and test our platform and do whatever you want. There's no commitments, so you don't have to worry about signing up if you don't like the platform. But feel free to come check out our platform at quantdata.us and let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section below. And thank you for joining us.